everybody. It's your old pal Brian Hunt. Welcome to another episode of 60 Seconds of Risk. Today I'm coming to you from beautiful Montage Resort here in Laguna Beach, California. And as you can see on my shoulder, there's lots of beautiful homes overlooking the Pacific Ocean, the kind of homes I would never probably afford in my life, and whose value is pretty incredible. Which wanted me to bring up this topic of talking about accurate reporting of values respect to your home insurance policy. In the prior episode, we talked about actual cash value versus replacement value, and that specifically re uh, refers to more your contents, but I want to talk about the actual cost to replace your dwelling. And think about this. In the past three years, we've seen dramatic increases in prices for construction inputs, lumber, copper, concrete, um, and then the actual labor itself has gotten more expensive. So think about this. Let's say three, four years ago, you got to rebuild your home, the dwelling, not the land, not the contents. Let's say it cost you $500,000. Fast forward now, that easily could be more expensive by a factor of 20% a year. So let's assume maybe what cost you $500,000 to replace, it's going to be now $650,000 to replace. Here's the kicker. If you haven't adjusted your value of your property uh, insurance premium from say $500 to $650, if God forbid something happens tomorrow, smoking on the ground, carrier is not going to cut your check for 650 if you haven't updated your values to reflect the current cost to be built. If you've been reporting 500 and you've been paying premiums based upon 500, the carrier is going to impose what's called a co-insurance penalty, which says, in essence, based on a certain percentage, they are going to reduce your payout claim. It's in the contract. It's in your policy. Value that a percentage to reflect that you did not accurately report your values. So in that situation, what you might have been anticipating a check for $650,000, it might be more like $575,000 because the values were unreported, the calculation will put out a reduced payout. So just so you know, if you're paying a lower premium based on your current value, fantastic, but if the event occurs, the carrier is not going to cut you a full check because you've reduced, you've been reporting a lower value. So you need to make an informed decision about what your current risk is because you're looking to transfer that risk to the carrier and you want your home rebuilt to like status. You've got to report a value that's reflective of what it costs to build that home from scratch using current cost of materials. So again, know your policy, read your policy, talk to your broker or your agent, and make sure you're making an informed decision as whether or not you want to retain that risk, knowing that you're going to have to pay out of pocket to rebuild that home to like status, or you're going to reduce your actual style or home or value of the house because you're not getting a full check to, re to rebuild, or report a higher value pay the additional premium. Because the insurance company is in to make money as well, and it's all fair that you report an accurate value so that your premiums are reflective of the risk. Hope you found this informative. Uh, again, you can always find, uh, make your comments here on LinkedIn, respects any topics, individuals you want me to talk to. Always subscribe to my YouTube channel as well, and you can follow these uh, on Twitter as well. So, until next time.